Dr. Mike, can you hear us? He saluted. All right. Well, he says yes, so I guess that means we're ready to rock and roll. All right. And my wife even texts me. Instagram can hear you. So okay. I'll, let's go. Let's do it then. Uh, okay. Do I need to go through the rules one more time for you? Not for me. Do you need to go through the rules? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> this is the second annual, okay, March Madness. We're calling this one the Fairway Face-Off. The March to Greatness in the Garden State. It is Selection Sunday. We said noon. We're a little behind schedule. We're 43 <laughs> minutes behind schedule, but better late than never, like they like to say. <laughs> The way this is going to go is we're each going to pick our 16 courses that we have not played in the last 12 to 18 months or so with the idea in mind that we will go visit the winning golf course of our madness here in New Jersey. Now, Ryan gets 16 picks, I get 16, and we're just going to rotate one, our top pick, all the way down till we get to our final 32. And then we will end this live session. And then you'll have to listen to Wednesday's episode on the podcast for all the analysis, the upsets, the 12s over fives, so on and so forth. But as a reminder, you'll hear on the podcast as well, voting starts this Thursday, 11 a.m., okay, right on Instagram. And it'll last for 24 hours for you to get your votes in. Votes in. But you got to be following on Instagram at the drop underscore pod, which – I would say for the five others that are listening to this, um, they're probably already doing that. So we're, we're batting a thousand here. We're batting a thousand. <laughs> so, so yep. Yeah. So now with that being said, let's get this bad boy underway. Um, I know you and I have talked about this on the side. We got our list. All right. It's 16, 16. I'm going to let you go first since I'm the old guy here in the group. And they always let, they like to say, let the younger guy go first. You know, um, I, was actually so just gonna, I was pulling up a website to pick a random number and have you pick a random number. But uh, I, I got a, I got a kind heart. I got a kind heart. So okay. we are going to let you go first with your pick. Ooh. Okay. Um, and as we go, we'll need to make sure that you are writing these down in terms of who your selections are. Um, so I'm hopeful that you have some sort of pen, paper, computer, something to type on as we, uh, make our picks. I have done some, uh, extensive research on this, Mike. All Uh, right. I have a list of public courses in the, in New Jersey. I put them in order. I took time and thought about each of them. So I have a draft order of ones that if I were to get picks one through 16, I'd feel really good about. Uh, Now, obviously there's a chance that you're going to pick some that are on my list and vice versa. So obviously we go, we tried going a little bit more than just 16, but we'll have to see, but I will keep, uh, I will keep a record here of, of each person's pick. Uh, If you just give me a second to slide the computer over. So I can put this guy down. Just like that there. Okay. All right. Actually, you know what? I want to change how I did that. Let's go. This is exhilarating uh, live streaming, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, considering that people probably put some time away at 12 noon, thinking we'd be done by 1246, I'm sure. Chris, how's it going, buddy? (laughs) Okay. All right, Mike. So I'm starting. Fire away, buddy. Listen. I am going to take, with the first pick in the 2024 Fairway Faceoff, the Fighting Kulats select Bally Owen of North Jersey. I think this is a no-brainer. I know you and I have both talked about it. 
Um, I've seen that from a mile away. A mile away. I thought about. Uh, I. I honestly. I thought you would pick it first. Um, so that's why I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. Um, I, I will say. Are, are we going to make trades? Is there trade possibilities here? Nope. We're just firing away. Top sixteen. Top sixteen. All right. <laughs> So we're rolling. Right. All right. Ready? I'm ready. After, after um, extenuating research done from behind the scenes, after a lot of communication with folks, this pick has been rising up people's draft boards like you can't imagine. With the number one pick on Magic Mike's fairway face-off team, we have selected Old Bridge Golf Club. The Rose as our number one pick. Silence the critics. I make no comments. I'm going to hold all my comments till the end. For the podcast. Uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, all right. Where was that? I had that on my list, Mike, but you got it. Okay, another one that I think is going to be a steal from you that I know that you've talked about, that I know that's gotten a little bit of traction, uh, that was one that we've kind of not threw out all the time, but one that's gotten redone recently, I believe, and that you're like, we need to go up there and see, uh, see this, is Francis Byrne. Delete that right off my list. Uh, I I thought that you were going to take that as your first pick if I took Valley Owen. To be fair, I could have. I would have bet. I would have bet that that was going to be your first one. You talked a lot about it, so I feel good about taking it from you. Yep. Some of us have a heart, and some of us don't. Clearly, we're learning that early in this draft. All right, <laughs> number two with the pick on Magic Mike's team. We're going to head out west. We're going to head out west, and we are taking Mercer Oaks, the West 18. Mercer Oaks, the West 18. Uh, okay, I didn't break it down into east and west, so that is good to know that the east would still be available. I figured as such when it came to courses that had 36 holes, it was a much easier way that we could break it up. Now, if a place had 27, I just left it as the actual golf course because you don't know what day you're going to play, what not. Gotcha. That's fair. Um, again, something that we didn't that we didn't you know necessarily talk about there. All right, you took Mercer Oaks West. All right. Uh, my number three pick. Uh, and this kind of goes the opposite direction of what we just talked about. My number three pick, Skyway. Uh, again, we've talked highly about it. I've wanted to get out there. Uh, that's going to be an, an 18-hole. I want to get around <laughs> twice. Um, but, yeah, haven't gotten there. Want to make it happen. I'm going to have to go number three. I'm going to go join you up at Bally Owen and play Crystal Springs. That's going to be my number three, Crystal Springs. Okay. Uh, so we are we are making our way up north there. Where is that? Let's get that off the list. Uh, Mike, I might as well round out uh, the courses in the Crystal Springs family. Uh, and I'm going to go with Wild Turkey for my fourth pick. Well, number four on my pick, we're going to continue to head north, and we're going to go to Architects as my number fourth selection in this year's draft. Mike, I, I really like that pick. I, that was actually going to be my... Uh, um, was going to be my four, but I figured you were starting to think about that. So, hey, you snooze, you lose. That's a good one. Uh, we've talked about getting up to architects and and uh, 
never, you know, you never play in there. I played there maybe 10, 12 years ago. So would have been in, but we, we move on, right? Mm-hmm. Number five for me. All right, I thought I thought about this a lot. I feel like I'm at a point now, and you've taken some of them uh, already in this like next grouping for me. Uh, I have blue heron pines, one that I've never been to, uh, one that I definitely want to get to. Uh, heard good things about, but I've never been. So blue heron pines for me is going to be pick number five. For number five, for me, again, I, I don't know what it is about the North, but I'm staying in the North, and I'm going over to Heron Glen, number five. Heron Glen. Very nice. Oops. Let's learn to type. Got to like, gotta like those 5-12 matchups. <laughs> know that all too well on this side over here. Uh, we got the, we got both, both, uh, both Herons out of the way there. Um. I have a bit of uh, I have a bit of one. I don't think that there's 36 holes at this facility. I don't think there's two courses. But if I'm wrong, I know you'll correct me. Great Gorge. I'm going to take it number six. Uh, combination of wanting to get there and hearing good things and all that kind of stuff. It's one that's been uh, one that I'm truly interested in. So that's one that I would like to play coming at number six. Number six on my list is Berkshire Valley, Berkshire Valley. Number six. Berkshire Valley up in the North. We the people of the North, you know. <laughs> um, I am at number seven, going to take Mountain View. It's on my list. With my seventh pick, uh, we have not had one that neither of us have been either able to pick or have not picked yet. <laughs> so then I guess I'll take number seven here. It's got to be Nishanik Valley just because I know that you haven't played it. And for that bad boy to keep dropping is a disservice to them. So I'm taking Nishanik Valley at seven. Now, hold on. I didn't put it on my list because I played it at, um, I, I was at the facility even though I played it in in uh, Brian from the Drop Zones kind of outing, I didn't put it on my list. Uh, I figured that was that I had been there, so I, that's why I didn't I hadn't taken it. But it is a disservice for it made it this long. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have it on my list for that reason. So probably why I didn't have Blue Heron Pines either, because I had been there before. Because you'd been there, yeah. Uh, I think that there's a few, I don't think we have many overlapping. Um, and how about that? Like, we're not talking about courses since we started the podcast, correct? Well, I'll be honest with you. I really just backtracked it 12 months. It's really like what I hadn't played in last year, the calendar year of 2023. Okay. I didn't count. So what about like, so I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Like LBI National haven't played all eighteen holes since they've completely renovated it. Okay, I put them. I put them on my list. Um, Hominy Hill, you and I never played all eighteen holes. Put them on my list. So those are examples that I have under a dotted line because I played nine holes. I haven't got the whole experience, so I felt like it had to be to be fair. I didn't truly play the golf course in the last twelve months. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so that's the same thing for me. I didn't get to, I didn't get to Hominy and play all 18 either. Um, and I am going to take that with my eighth pick. There you go. Uh, I was also unclear of like, are we going back as you and I played, we played 18 there 
uh, when we, you know, back in, in 2022, when we were kind of starting this thing, but we played the back nine twice. Uh, again, kind of late in the afternoon, we didn't want to wait. So we just, we kind of, you know, just kind of jumped around a little bit. So that was kind of my, my thinking there. I didn't, I didn't necessarily put it on mine, not because it doesn't deserve to, but uh, I wasn't sure, you know, kind of how far we talked about that being a little bit of a gray area. Right. But so then, so, so to your full 18, I think is, I think is. Yeah. So keep it on that trend of old late 2022. I'm, I'm adding Eagle Ridge as my number eight selection. Huge listeners, huge followers, huge supporters of the podcast. Let's get the boys at Eagle Ridge on number eight on Magic Mike's team. Okay. I am going to take Mercer Oaks East. All right. With well, number nine. We're, we're going to get a possibly a visit out to Mercer County. I don't know if you and I have been out that way yet, but uh, have not there's... again. I only had it as one. I thought it was like a one and one a kind of like at the horse track, but uh, you know, we didn't get there, but that's uh, that's where I'm going. That's my thinking there. I'm going to go Mercer Oaks with number uh, Mercer Oaks East. Sorry. With number. Number nine. So my, so my number nine is Tamarack. The East course, what they just renovated a few years back, I'm putting Tamarack as my number not at nine, ninth selection on the East course. Okay. Um, I'm winding down here. We are. I'm going to get rid of these so we can give me some room here. I, I got some openings still in mind that you haven't said, so I, I'm crossing my fingers. I got six picks left. Seven picks left. Excuse me. Math is not a support day. That's okay. Um, I am. I am going to go with number 10. Mike, they showed out last year. I've never played this, this 18. I'm going to take Sea Views Pines course. Wow. With the pick. Wow. After how many things I've heard about the Bay and you and the Bay just don't get along whatsoever, we're going to go visit the Pines. Yep. You better be hitting the ball straight that day. That's all I can say. <laughs> my 10th I... pick, my 10th pick is I'm heading again north to High Bridge Hills, number nice. 10. High Bridge Hills. Played there as a youth. Back in the day when, man, when Mike Poro was a kid playing, you know, young junior golf tournaments. Played there back in the day. Just a young youth. <laughs> uh, that was where I have I had played there once a uh, long time ago as well. Played there in college. Got there. Um, let's see. I want to try. Now I think we're getting to a point because we're getting down to I got six more, Correct. Yep. 16, yep. six more. So we're getting into be a little more, little more strategery here. Yep. Um, I think this is one that uh, I think this is one that that is uh, it went through renovation. The state got involved in it. Uh, I am going to go with Galloping Hill with my number 11. Galloping Hill. Wow. There you go. That was on my list. That was on my list. I can't lie. Yeah. It's, uh, I think that's one that really intrigues me. I pass it, you know, anytime on the parkway you pass it, I think it's just one that like, it, it it's one I'll I want to get to. Yeah. I'll be there April 17th. April 17th. You'll be at Galloping Hill. Okay. Let me know how it is. <laughs> yeah, well, number number 11. Number 11, I'm going to go. And again, this kind of backtracks that 2022 conversation. Uh, I'm don't you go take put, it. I'm going to say LBI National because I got to ah. see the renovations that have happened. Um, I played it right 
as they got bought. So it was kind of like not in the greatest of shape, but they're holding a couple qualifiers for the NGSGA. So at my 11th pick, I'm going five minutes from home. I'm going LBI national. Mike, that was going to be my 11th pick. It was between that and galloping Hill. And I went galloping Hill. Uh, Great, great pick there. Uh, we're getting to be that time. 12 plays five, correct? That is exactly correct. 13. Okay. Uh, for my 12th pick, I'm going to go with, uh, with a course that, uh, I think this is going to be more of a following kind of course here. Uh, I'm going to go with Ron Jaworski's Valley Brook. Wow. You're trying to piggyback the social media aspect of it. There's some strategery played in that, that card right there. You know, uh, some yes, there strategery. is. Yep. I see a couple Ron Jaworski courses now listed on here for you. Uh, I see where we're going with that. Well, what I'm going to do with the with I'm I guess maybe I'll piggyback that idea. Let's stay in the Renault Winery area. Let's go play Vineyard National as Mike's twelfth selection here in the fairway faceoff. Vineyard National. Have a glass of wine while you're at it. Uh, so I would have been allowed to play that course based on our criteria. Uh, the day that I played it, there were more bugs on the course than there were blades of grass. Wow. It was one of the most miserable days of golf I've ever had with with just how buggy it was. It was a super hot, humid day. Just not just not the best golf day. You know what I mean? So interesting. Uh, all right. Again, getting into some strategery here. Uh, 12, five, 13 playing four. I like, I'm going to go with one that I don't know if you've, uh, forgotten. And I guess maybe I'm just sticking down in Southwest Jersey. Penn Saucon. Mm, highly spoken about. Yep. Highly spoken about. Yep. Uh, so Penn Socket with my 13th pick there. Well, with my 13th pick, you know, I'm going to hop over to another, I guess, Ron Jaworski golf course. Let's hop over to Running Deer. Let's hop over to Running Deer. Let's go chase those deer through the woods, boy. <laughs> uh, so... Again, coming down to the end here. 14, 15, 16. Three more left. Uh, Mike, I think this is the time for me to pick this course. I've been saving it. I've been strategic about it. Because I know <laughs> that you cannot pick this course since you played it in the last year, but I did not get to it. So I've been strategic, strategic on where I want it to be. And I'm going to go Scotland run with my 14th pick. And again, not, it is not the 14th, uh, like rated on my, on my thing here, but I had it lower knowing that you were not able to play it. So I was kind of being a little strategic about where to pick it up and it's matchup. So Scotland run 14th pick. All right. Not bad. My 14th pick I'm taking river Vale. river Vale as number 14. Okay. I think we're getting down to the point of like. <clears throat> it's our final four picks. Yeah. Uh, 15 is going to be Harbor Pines for me. All right. You and Ron Jaworski. What can I say? Can't say never, 
<sighs> never been there. The old, you know, played, uh, you got running deer. That's, that's one I played a few years ago, so I could have gotten it. But last year I was able to play, um, Oh, why am I blanking on the name now? Out by Philly's airport. Riverwinds? Ronda, thank you. Riverwinds. <laughs> I was going to call it Rivervale, which you just picked. So I had that in my head, but I knew that was wrong. <laughs> so I knew I couldn't pick that one, but let's go see some other Jaworski courses. All right. You got 15 here. 15. Now, again, this is maybe a controversial pick, but I'm taking Charleston Springs golf course. The South course. The second best of the Charleston courses. That's interesting. I would have thought that you would have liked to pick the best I knew, of them, but you know, I knew, I knew you would say that. That's why I said a little <laughs> controversial pick. So that's why it's going to be number 15 on my list. No, people love right. the South course. I, I, again, it's just whatever suits your, you know, you, you have better experiences at places you've played better with. And so, you know, I've played better at the North course. That's all. But well, good this pick. Your... And again, one that I couldn't pick because I played Charleston. So it's your final selection here. I know. I Who, know. Who's make who's making it into the final aspect of the fairway face off right. for you? So if if I uh can can I share I had twenty eight courses. Got there it. are five remaining of those twenty eight courses that we have not picked yet. Wow. But I, I had 24 and everyone's gone and everyone's gone. Okay. So I'm not yeah. going to say what I was about to, cause I don't want to give you any hints, but I'll say it afterwards. What it came down to. Um, you have to reveal that on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I will. Um, hmm. See, this is where you do a better job because you're more of the social media guy. So now I would say like, which one of these gets more social media pop to it? Uh, more of a presence. I'm going to go weak wake golf club up in the North high traffic area. Uh, I kind of like the idea of it being in like its own little like park kind of area. You got, you got like, what are the roads around there? It's like 78 crosses next to it parkways right by it like you got a lot of busy major roads <laughs> did a little bit of renovation Let, let's go let's go up and see it 16 pick week wake that rounds out your top 16 that does okay mr irrelevant here or let's see what let's see what we got here yeah i mean i i i can honestly say there's some part of me that's a little bit stumped you know, I thought like there might be one or two that's like hanging by the thread at the end. And clearly, you know, our minds were very, very similar. So I, I can truthfully say like I don't have my 16th is is really gone. It's really gone. So I'm going to have to throw out a flyer here. It's sometimes when that random team wins the conference tournament and they get in and it's maybe we can like make a little bit of a storybook run here. Um, but I guess I'm going to have to say, it, and, and I just didn't think I would, but here we go with the 16th and final pick of the 2024 fairway face off magic. Mike selects Rutgers university golf course. Oh, very nice, Mike. So listen, I, I, you know, I apologize, A, that we're so late on this process of getting this going. I can't thank everybody enough for tuning in. Um, I agree that we just had a comment, sun's out, should be playing golfing soon, but, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do. But nonetheless, you'll have to tune in this Wednesday We'll break everything down from analysis to matchups, the sleeper on top of you can't miss this week's guest. So I can't thank you guys enough for tuning in the comments. Um, really appreciate it. If you're not, click that follow button. We're almost at 3K. Help us out.
Talk soon.